there really is a whole pyramid of people who support uh, every person who's uh, making a contribution to a space station. It's the achievement of launching and getting a spacecraft you know, this close to the moon, down on the moon, but at this level of cost. It's just amazing, a testament to all the engineering and the commitment of all the people involved. The, the heritage of human history, um, and uh, we applaud them. This is the first commercial spacecraft to ever touch the moon, and it's too bad they didn't land, but uh, really good accomplishment. I hope they can continue and maybe try it again, you know, and learn something, try it again, or license that concept, let other teams try it but uh, we're gonna see a lot more of this coming up. For me, this is really the culmination of everything the space industry has been moving towards in the last really 10 years of what I suppose you could call the, you know, the new space boom. You know, this is all part about the greater commercialization of space. And what I mean by that is, what Space IL has done has been something that truly cannot be understated. The only other, you know, entities of any kind that have made it to the moon before have been three of the world's you know, leading powers. The Soviet Union, the United States, two of the world's you know, actual superpowers, and then China, the world's second largest economy today. This is a small team that was able to do this entirely privately, not only on their own, but also to collaborate with another space-based company like Archmission, Archmission. So this to me represents not only the growing of the technology, but the growing of the community inside the new space industry. And, you know, while they did not get to the surface, being able to make it this far alone is something that cannot be understated. Oh, this was a, a great attempt. I hope they, uh, they they try another one soon. Uh, I think they'll succeed. Uh, but it really shows, you know, space is really cool, but really hard. And the fact that a small country, Israel, has put a, and a private firm within Israel or a private entity within Israel has actually reached the moon today, even though approximately six miles above the lunar surface, we lost track of it and presumably it crashed. But it has reached the moon. And as you pointed out in your upcoming book, um, the Chinese with their Chang'e, which has been tremendously successful, the rover that's crawling around on the far side of the moon, spent roughly $2 billion and more important, had 10,000 people engaged in the process. And again, as you pointed out in your upcoming book, there were only 80 people involved with putting up the beret sheet. So we are getting to the point where space access within three years, four years, five years, eight years, is going to be more and more available to the public. First, it's gonna be available to the super rich, but that's great because uh, first adopters are willing to pay huge amounts of money to develop technologies that then trickle down to you and me. This is one of the few instances in which the trickle down theory actually does work when it comes to developing new technologies. And that technology and our ability to save for many years and then plan a trip to space as private individuals on private rockets, that moment seems to be about to come.